Welcome to Pfeiffer Vacuum. My name is Jan-Hendrik Dörr and in this video I'd like to give you some explanation about the ideal gas equation. In principle, the ideal gas equation describes the relationship between the thermal state variable of an ideal gas. When we are talking about the thermal state variable of an ideal gas, we basically mean the pressure P, the volume V, the absolute temperature T and the quantity of particles M. Basically, every substance consists of atoms or molecules. The quantity of a substance is given by the definition in moles. One mole of a substance contains a defined number of particles. This value is also called Avogadro constant, named after the Italian physicist Amadeo Avogadro. There is a defined physical standard state of volume, temperature and pressure. As early as 1664, Robert Boyle studied the influence of pressure on a given amount of air. The results confirmed by Marriott in experiments are summarized in the Boyle-Marriott law. The formula shows that the product of pressure and volume of a given quantity of gas is constant under the same temperature. Thus, if the volume of a room is reduced and both the gas quantity and the temperature are kept constant, it is known that the pressure increases. Later in history, the physicist Gay Sack recognized that the temperature depends on the volume of a quantity of gas. As a result, the state of an ideal gas can be described as follows, as a function of pressure, temperature and volume. Here, K describes the Boltzmann constant, N the number of particles and T the absolute temperature of a gas. The formula can be represented in different forms, but all of them describe the state of the gas in the same way. In the next video, we will deal with the thermal particle velocity. Stay tuned!